Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Morning JB Show. I'm James Borman. I'm your host. And today we're going to be talking about um, what does the best version of yourself actually mean. Um, and hopefully we're going to give you some Monday motivation to go away with, some self-awareness tips and thoughts, processes to go away and think about yourself a little bit more. Hope you've had a great weekend. Um, it seems to have flying by again. and We're back here on Monday again. It is darker than ever. So we're just cracking on with this uh, live feed right now. Uh, for you to wake up to so look i always talk about being the best version of yourself and um i was having a think over the weekend i was thinking um i wonder if people know what that actually means sometimes i was wondering if i know what that means Um, and i i think back to when i very first started when i first heard that term is when i when i started raw marine training and we got woken up by the corporals in the morning, about half five in the morning. They come in, get your PT kit on, get down the bottom field, and we got thrashed for like four hours. And um, I, I was thinking to myself, what the fuck am I doing here? What, like, why am I possibly putting myself through this? And on reflection, at the time, I knew that I was just trying to better myself. But, you know, when I look at it, I was trying to be the best version of myself at that point in my life. I was trying to create something that meant something to me, that had some value, um, that that really sort of was in line with what I wanted to do at the time. So, you know, I wanted to be something extraordinary. And at the time, the Royal Marine Commandos were, and, and they still are, one of the best fighting forces in the world. And I was like, God, you know, this is what I'm doing here. I'm trying to challenge myself to be something more rather than what I was doing in life before. I wasn't really, um, I wasn't really, I wasn't really doing anything with my life. And then I suddenly joined the Royal Marines and I was like, you know what? Fucking I'm doing something with my life here. And I guess the best version of yourself means something different for every single one of you. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be the best at anything. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to be um, the best dad or you have to um, be the best worker or employed or employee. It does not mean that you have to have a six pack and buy bulging biceps to be the very best version of yourself. It doesn't mean you, your business has to be the best business in the UK. It doesn't mean that you and your company have to be the very best all of the time. It's individually for you. And you have to consider to yourself, okay, what is the best version of me? When you look at yourself in the mirror, you go, okay, let's break it down. What is the best version of me in terms of me being within my family? And most of you say, well, it will be, be present. It will have the energy to be able to keep up with the kids. It will um, it will be having the, uh, the discipline to have time to be home and be present. Okay, if you look at it in a health sense, you know, The best version of yourself is not a six-packed dad with bulging biceps. It's somebody who has energy to play with their children, to cope with the day, who maybe has a flat tummy, who maybe wakes up energised, who maybe eats well, who doesn't resort to drinking and and, and bad nutrition. You know, and and the same within your business practices. You know, the best version of yourself could be just doing what you love, not worrying about trying to take over the world. And I had a bit of a a moment over the weekend and I was like god you know what the best version of myself is just actually basing um uh, allowing my business to be part of my life okay not basing my life around my business and I was like that's the best version of me the best version of me is when I I'm the family man I'm the, at the home stay at home dad and when I'm looking after the little ones and when I'm a great partner to my other half and when I'm looking after my health and you know, and I've got a business on the side. Not life is my business. I've got to be doing this. I've got to be changing the way that I live my life. You know, I've got to be basing my life around this business because we're trying to strive and be hugely successful. No, and that was kind of a moment for me at the weekend, and I was kind of like, no, that's, I've got my, I've had been having my priorities all wrong. So I haven't been fully the best of myself. Because I've more always been fighting that itch and I'm wondering what that itch is. And it's the fact that I, in some ways, maybe have been putting the wrong priorities first. And I read this story, which I shared on my page, about a dad who lost his son. <clears throat> when he, I think he was six or eight years old and he was a workaholic. And the biggest regret that he had was the fact that he was never present at home enough. That he was just working, working, working consistently. And he got the call that his boy had died. 
and he went back and he was devastated and he completely changed his life as you would and I think that was and I think that was the, the the flip for me and I wanted to share this particular life feed because your best version of yourself you might not get it for a year or two years but what you kind of have to do is have some form of vision about what your life looks like imagine it visualize it okay then look in your mirror and ask yourself are you on the right path to that vision or are you doing loads of other shit that really doesn't fucking matter and you'll get distracted too easily all right you are doing the opposite to what you're trying to achieve now you don't have to set the bar so high but you just have to set it to a point where you want to be like reaching you know i want to get here and as you learn more about yourself then you you change all of the time and that is part of you evolving as a human being as a man you know you're evolving to be something different you think this is what you want and then later down the line mm, it's not quite so we're going to readjust again and you're consistently chasing that best version of yourself but don't don't feel and put yourself under so much press, pressure that you are right up at the fucking top okay that you have to be the best that you that you have to be perfect that everything that you do has to be in line with everyone else it's what you fucking value. It's the values that you have. It's the purpose that you believe in. It's the drive that gets you out of bed. And it could just be living a normal life but doing that well. Okay, what is it even a normal life? You know, getting up, focusing on your health, going to work, semi-enjoying it, getting through it, not being too committed to it. Okay, coming home, being present for the family and switching off. That. That could be the perfect life for you. Another life could be, you know, that you want, that you do want to strive and build that business and, and focus on that business. That could be you. That, that could be that best version of you. Maybe your kids have grown up and moved on. Maybe it's being the best husband. Maybe it's being the best dad. I don't know. It's just some things to think about. Okay, it's just some mindset tips, just some thought process, some self-awareness for you to dig down and say, why am I living my life, there, life like this when I want my life to be like this? Why are they not in line? What do I need to do to bring them in line? What are the actions that I need to take? What are the changes that I need to make? And I think when you start asking those sort of questions, you start challenging yourself more and you start wanting to be the best version of yourself. Okay. This is all the type of stuff, guys, that we start doing on week one of the Zero to Hero program, by the way. So if you want to get your discount code, it's on the post somewhere. Um, click the link, check the details. We are going on 7th of October. And that best version of yourself is something that I help a lot of guys get into. I'm helping them understand it. I'm helping them understand they don't have to be the best, that they won't get it just overnight, that it takes consistent work. You look at the guys in my brotherhood, many of them have been on a journey between sort of three months and fucking two years and we're still growing consistently, all right? Um, I hope you have a great Monday. I hope that really gets the uh, brain ticking over and gets you thinking a little bit more. Um, thank you again for listening in. Appreciate you guys. If you do come through here, just make sure you do like, comment, and share. It'd be great to uh, spread the word for me. Have a great day.